It's wrong reader, it's like universe. I'm Ron Reader, and this is Ron Reader Digs the Universe, and tonight, neutralizing Supreme Court conservatives. As far as I can tell, five of the conservative justices on the Supreme Court perjured themselves on whether Roe v. Wade is decided law during their confirmation hearings. Kavanaugh definitely perjured himself when he admitted to college binge drinking, but denied ever having blackouts. Alito and Thomas appear to be colluding with fascist psychos. Hell, Thomas is married to a woman who was smack dab in the middle of various Trumpy plots to reverse Biden's election. Barrett is a member of a far-right Catholic nut group. Gorsuch was installed to the bench in blatant violation of the Constitution. Their bogus judicial philosophy, originalism, which they say means originally intended meaning is nothing but a sophist sham relying on bad logic, straight up lies about human nature and physical reality, all designed for the simple purpose of accomplishing long-held conservative political goals. Sympathy for and solidarity with the ongoing American fascist insurrection is infused into every decision they write. Their role as they see it, is not to justly interpret the Constitution, but rather to dismantle it. In short, the conservative wing of the Supreme Court is totally illegitimate and a clear and present danger to the United States of America. Establishment, establishment moderates and establishment liberals wring their hands and fret. What do we do? What do we do? We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. But we don't have to be fucked. There is a fix for this fascist Supreme Court, a sort of legal hack already in the Constitution, and Democrats know it. FDR threatened to use this constitutional remedy for a Supreme Court hell-bent on destroying the nation, but he didn't follow through. The threat was enough, and the court started ruling in favor of his New Deal programs, and that saved us. Threats won't work with this court, so Biden would have to go all the way. The Constitution does not restrict the number of justices on the Supreme Court. It is simply tradition that sets that number at nine. President Biden, right now, without any new laws, without any help at all, could nominate nine more justices to the court, or 90, or four. In the end, it's what he can get the democratically controlled Senate to approve. Definitely doable. But would they do it? Historically, since the 90s, the Democrats in Congress have been unwilling to effectively challenge the hardball, take-no-prisoners, fuck-the-law approach embraced by Republicans, primarily, as far as I've ever been able to tell, because the Democrats have refused to understand the dire threat to this nation that the conservatives have become. But Biden has signaled that he now understands. His hopeful talk of bipartisanship before the election has changed to talk about how the conservatives are semi-fascist and a threat to our democracy. And make no mistake, with the possible exception of Chief Justice Roberts, the conservative faction of the, the Supreme Court is a fascist faction, focused like a laser on destroying the Constitution, eradicating democracy, and putting true believer fascists into power forever. Biden must pack the court. Add enough liberal justices to neutralize effectively the fascist faction's voting power, and the Senate must consent. There is no other way. I mean, you think Trump was bad? Well, this fascist court has already made it legal for the states to take control of women, literally making them reproductive slaves of the government, which is fucking horrifying if they're not stopped. 
they have much, much, much worse in store for this country. I'm Ron Reader, and this has been Ron Reader Digs at the Universe. Join me, Ron Reader, again next week for another episode of Ron Reader Digs at the Universe.